all right so just a quick video on how to make your own 2.5 inch hard disk docking station now as we all know something uh, when you think of a hard disk dock docking station you'll think of uh, one that's made for 3.5 inch hard disk like this one uh, this is a Sabrent uh, uh, 3.5 inch docking station but it also obviously works with 2.5 inch as well these require external power supplies as well because uh, 3.5 inch hard disks require external power but if you only have um, 2.5 inch hard drives and you need a docking station um, you're not going to find only 2.5 inch hard drive docking stations uh, on the market you don't get them maybe a few Chinese manufacturers will do but they're kind of rare because uh, it's just not I don't know they just don't make 2.5 inch docking stations that much what you get is these uh, large um, 3.5 inch docking stations you get obviously uh, things like this 2.5 inch uh, hard disk cases but these are these cases themselves they're not docking stations you can't hot swap them in and out uh, they're not open or anything you gotta close them when they are used um, but in this video I'll show you how to make one uh, a docking station of your own uh, using an old uh, hard disk case like this uh, a 2.5 inch hard disk casing an old one uh, either you can just buy it off the market for like eight dollars or you can just um, take it off an old portable hard disk so let's get started uh, also don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and subscribe just show me some support by subscribing to my channel if you like this video so I'll be using my uh, oh, one of my older hard disks uh, casings it was an Imation hard disk but actually the hard disk inside was a Toshiba we all know Imation doesn't make hard disks um, so the internal disk was a Toshiba it crashed the casing and the most valuable part that I like is this a piece of circuitry, the 2.5 inch uh, SATA connector, uh, SATA, the thingy plus the power supply, the data plus the power supply. Uh, this is a slightly weird um, connector uh, that came with it, the, the external connector. It's not your standard, uh, where is that? It's not your standard uh, cable like thing. This, it's not this, because this is a bit older so it's different this is the same thing that came with the playstation portable for some reason the, the thing at the top uh, i don't know what it's called but it's a usb uh, lead it's a usb type plug i don't know what it's called tell me in the comment section what it's called that type right there so let's get started so what you're going to need is these three parts only and obviously the hard disk you're going to put now in most of these hard disk connectors this thing is not attached to the body for some reason it's just hanging there as you can see here and all, even in this one it's hanging it's not fixed to the body for some reason so that makes it an awful uh, contestant for a dock because it should be fixed to the body right so what we're going to do is we're going to fix it to the body uh, align it properly the way it was before like so so that it aligns well with its uh, the hole there then mark two points on all, all of the uh, by the way all the all of these circuits will have uh, screw holes even though that they are not uh, connected to the body they are always going to have screw holes don't worry about that uh, so make two marks where the screw holes are take it off drill two holes in those two points there where you mark them uh, you don't need a fancy drill or anything you can just use a screwdriver just drive it in like that I've already made small holes um, so it's not going to be that hard but I'll be making the other one here just get something sharp and start making holes uh, make sure to make uh, the holes not too big and depending on what type of screws you want to use uh, be careful of your finger as well uh, you may have to just provide the screws yourself or in this case I'll be using the screws that held this casing together as well um, so I'm through with that just give it a quick yank uh, the screws are kind of big so I'll have to kind of use a bigger screwdriver for this as well so be careful not to split the plastic or anything when you add this I mean you can use a drill though I'm using a screwdriver but make sure to use a small drill and uh, whatever sizing you your screw is it's usually going to be quarter, any, quarter inch I don't know so just keep doing that and I'll cut to the point when uh, these things are, when I've done drilling them. 
all right so I've done drilling the screw the drilling the holes into the uh, plastic just a disclaimer as well uh, you don't want to drill the holes to the size of the screw you're going to be using because once you drive the screws in the screws will naturally create the hole uh, of the proper size so what you're going to do is you're just going to place your screw on the hole you have drilled and just tighten it in a bit put some force so that it's you know waste a bit more of the plastic and creates a perfect fit for itself let's do that to this side as well put in a bit of force is it sticking out? Just put in a bit of force and just turn it. So now it's got a groove to start with. Take your uh, SATA circuit, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Just put it in there. Oh, by the way, if you're starting from scratch and you're buying everything off eBay or wherever, you can get these circuits off eBay or Amazon or whatever. They're like six bucks. Um, the decent ones are like ten, but you can get one for around six. I'm just starting from scrap here but you don't have to so put the screw in the hole and tighten it well, these screws are a bit too long for this body but since they have a flat head uh, I thought they'll be the best thing because if, if I put these ones in they're just going to interfere with the hard disk and it's not going to go into place but they're just going to stick out the back but that's not a problem so, not too tight do it the other side the circuit may bend a bit that's fine so not too tight it's bent a bit that's fine no worries there okay Let's take a hard disk, see if it fits in there. Okay. Hope I'm on I'm on screen. I can't see uh, what I'm actually recording. Sorry about this camera angle. Uh, I don't have proper equipment. So there we are. It works. It fits perfectly. And that's your new docking station. So now to deal with these two annoying screws, I'll probably put some rubber feet on these. Uh, these this case actually had its own rubber feet so they're probably around here somewhere I'll take them out and put them on here but that's your docking station so you just take it out pull it up like that uh, you can yeah it's gonna be, take a bit of getting used to but yeah there we go so that's your new docking station you can sit right next to your 3.5 inch one if you already have one and yeah Thanks for watching, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. Thanks.